Susan, yeah, this movement is exploding. Hundreds of stores now across the country, including several locations right here in Southern California. They have all filed, and the push to unionize getting a lot of support from local leaders. Take a look at this. This was just tweeted out today. This is Long Beach Mayor Robert Garcia showing a photo of his coffee with the caption, quote, really proud that our Long Beach Starbucks on Redondo and 7th is about to become the first Starbucks in Southern California with a union. Stop by today to support the workers as they organize. Congrats and thank you. Now, the push for Starbucks to unionize all started in New York. Since then, more than 220 locations in 31 different states have now filed for votes with the National Labor Relations Board. Workers have cited unfair labor practices, especially during the pandemic, as part of their reason for a motivation to form a union. Now, this isn't just Starbucks. There's been a real spike in interest from employees at a lot of other big companies like McDonald's and Amazon, for instance. Just today on staff, Staten Island, New York Representative Alexandria Oscazio Cortez and Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, they rallied with Amazon labor union members and warehouse workers. That's all ahead of a vote tomorrow on whether or not for Amazon to organize. Listen here. And so what happened here, out here, right, that you guys did in Staten Island was just the beginning. It was the first domino to fall, the first one. And then we're going to have another election tomorrow. And we're going to support them in that, and then the day after that, and the day after that. All the way. All the way. Now, the mail-in voting process, this is for Starbucks locations here in Southern California. This begins tomorrow, and that is when uh, ballots are going to be mailed to voters from the NLRB Region 21. That includes some locations in both Lakewood and Long Beach. Again, this is a mail-in voting process that starts tomorrow. Uh, after all of those ballots are mailed in, they will be officially counted on Friday, May 13th. For now, reporting live, I'm Chelsea Edwards, Fox 11 News. Susan? All right, Chelsea, thanks very much for that.